Okay, this is a hearing, public hearing, regarding bonding or borrowing. It has to do with Article 2 of the Warren Articles that will be published. Um, do I need to read the article or go into any detail? Are there any comments? Yes. I was just wondering, does this, the $120 for replacing the water line, does that directly relate to the Ted Berry quote? Have you, do you already know for sure that's who you're going with? I know you had stated at a meeting previously that you didn't get other quotes or anything, so is this number here just based on what they had stated last fall they were going to do? Might that change now when you're coming into discussions with them? Um, this spring when you're actually going to do the project. That was based on the quote they gave us. There are other companies that do this. One of them is in Missouri. One is in Texas. One is in Washington State. So, so that's all we've got for information. These, the Ted Berry company is the only one in this area that does this type of work? That does municipal line replacement. There are hundreds of private plumbers who will do a new sewer line for a person or household, but not municipal ones. Oh, because I had um, emailed a little with uh, DES to ask about that, and they said it is becoming more popular, so um, that just means that one company is the only company that's doing that type of work all around this area? They're not as visible on the net as Ted Berry. That's the only thing I've got. How much research can I do? No, I can't do an okay. exhaustive study. I understand. No, I was just trying to get a better sense. Thank you. Are there any other comments? <laughs> yes. Yeah. All the way across the room. Understanding was that your name, Paul Stan, Willie Street. There you go. Um, my understanding was it wasn't really replacing the water line, but relining the existing line. No, we're replacing it completely. Okay. This is a lot of what I remember from discussions that have been ongoing for a while. So my question is going to be about process and how you will engage the residents of um, the impacted um, area, Willie Street in particular, but anybody else, and the school in particular, how you'll engage them in the planning process and for when the work gets implemented, and also what you imagine your timeline will be. This is important work and all of us want to see it done. We're this going to have a public question. hearing with, if it's Ted Berry, we're going to have it with Ted Berry. All of these questions will be posed at that time. Any concerns, questions they have, we'll, we'll go over them at that time. Do you, I, don't, I don't see dates in there. Do you have some sense of the timeline of when this project will happen? We're shooting for April vacation for the school to be the least amount of disruption. Great. That's awesome. Thanks. And then the substitute water lines don't freeze. Uh, June Dagnall, uh, Willie Street. The last meeting that I went to when we talked about this, I believe it was called bursting. They were going to run a sleeve yes. in the pipe. Has that been canceled? No. Do you have you have YouTube, right? Yeah. Okay. Go online and look up Ted Berry Company, Maine. And they've got a whole bunch of videos of how it's done. It's very dramatic. Okay. Yeah, well, I, so this, I misunderstood when I thought you meant they were going to replace it the traditional way. Oh, God, no. Okay, all right, good. That would be way too expensive. That would be at least another $100,000. Caroline Kendall, um, $120,000 is certainly a bondable amount. In my personal opinion, I don't think seventeen, thirty-three, or $30,000 are amounts that need to be bonded. And in the interest of keeping the overall debt load lower, I would personally prefer that those be bonded <coughs> through rates within a year or some other kind of um, 
short-term loan if necessary, but I, I, I just don't think that they should be bonded. Um, my question is, what, what is the term for, is this one bond? Because my, my experience with the, um, with the bond bank is that each project gets a different term according to the life of those projects. So um, do these projects have different terms and what are those terms? You remember the transfer station, all the things they did? There was paving and they were getting cans and so forth. Well, that was done as an aggregate. Okay, It was the improvement to the transfer station. This is an improvement to the water system. It's an aggregate. And if you see on the thing, we're looking to borrow for five years at 2.85%, which is pretty cheap. This is a proposal. This is not a firm commitment that you see up there. So looking at those numbers, and it's good to see the five years there for the term. Um, what do you imagine that yearly impact is going to be on um, the rate? Dollars, cents, what? Is that already someplace and I haven't noticed it? Annualized basis, not for 2020, but for an annualized basis, it'd be about forty-three thousand dollars per year. It's right here. No, I see that, but I mean per per, per rate payer. What's the sort of like dollar impact on the rate, the water sewer rate? Well, well, individual household rate. If you again, if you look at this form. You see the total amount, 413 for the water? You see 413 at the bottom. Total budget, 413. Okay, that's divided into units, which is the way we do it now. You can take 43, 362, and divide it by 698 units, and that would tell you how much each unit would pay of that debt. Is that a yearly or uh, quarterly? That, that is a yearly amount. Annualized amount. Okay. Any other questions? <clears throat> Comments? Hearing none. I'll make a motion for the commissioners to adjourn. Do I hear a second? Bob seconds. Shall we vote? Bob says aye. Clem says aye. I say aye. We are adjourned.